In the spring of 2024, astronomers detected a faint moving object on the edge of the solar system. At first, it looked ordinary, a small, cold body reflecting just enough sunlight to catch a telescope's eye. But within days, researchers realized this was no routine discovery. The newcomer's trajectory placed it on a hyperbolic path, a clear sign that it was not bound to the sun. It was traveling too fast, slicing through the solar system on a one-way journey from interstellar space. The object was given the designation 3I by Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar visitor ever recorded. When the Atlas Survey Telescope in Hawaii logged the first images, scientists expected something similar to 2019's Comet Borisov, a predictable icy nucleus trailing dust in the sunlight. But what they saw instead unsettled them. The object glowed with a shifting tint that defied simple explanation. On some nights, it appeared green, on others, a deep copper red, and at times, both colors shimmered together. Comets can glow green when molecules such as diatomic carbon or cyanogen react to ultraviolet light, but 3I Atlas's spectrum didn't match those signatures. The colors seemed to change with viewing angle, as if the light were being scattered by an uneven, complex atmosphere. The first spectroscopic measurements came from the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope. Analysts found that the gas surrounding the object contained carbon dioxide and nickel, a surprising combination. Nickel emissions are usually weak in comets because nickel is locked in dust grains that rarely vaporize so far from a star. Yet 3I Atlas was producing nickel gas abundantly while showing almost no trace of iron, which should accompany it. The ratio was inverted. That meant the material composing this comet had been heated to extreme temperatures at some point in its history, perhaps when it passed dangerously close to another sun long before entering interstellar space. As 3I Atlas drew nearer, its behavior grew stranger. Instead of developing a tail pointing away from the sun like every known comet, high-resolution imagery revealed a faint luminous extension ahead of the nucleus, an anti-tail aimed toward its direction of travel. Solar radiation pressure should have forced dust backward, not forward. Some astronomers proposed that the geometry of the orbit could create an optical illusion, but the data persisted across multiple observatories and filters. The brightness pattern genuinely favored the leading edge. NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center coordinated a multi-wavelength campaign to study the object as it approached Mars's orbital distance. James Webb Space Telescope was enlisted for a short infrared observation window. Webb's detectors revealed that the nucleus was far smaller than expected, perhaps only a few hundred meters wide, but extraordinarily active. Pockets of volatile gas were venting through the surface, producing jets of carbon dioxide that sprayed into space at unpredictable angles. These jets may have acted like tiny thrusters, altering the comet's rotation and pushing material forward, but even this explanation left open questions about how such a small body could sustain that level of energy output for weeks. The forward-facing glow puzzled scientists for another reason. It suggested that 3I Atlas's coma, the thin halo of gas and dust, was electrically charged. When solar particles stream past a charged body, electromagnetic forces can shape the released gas in unexpected ways. A few researchers proposed that the object was wrapped in an ion sheath interacting with the solar wind. If correct, it would be the first time a natural comet exhibited a sustained bow shock structure ahead of its nucleus, similar to the plasma wave that forms around Earth's magnetosphere. The magnetized plasma idea gained support when radio telescopes detected faint low-frequency emissions near the comet's path. They weren't strong enough to qualify as a signal, but they indicated turbulence in the surrounding solar wind. The radio bursts flickered irregularly, matching the times when optical telescopes saw the object brighten. This correlation hinted at electromagnetic coupling, a process by which charged dust grains exchange energy with the solar magnetic field.
The effect is known in planetary environments, but seeing it around an interstellar comet would be unprecedented. At the same time, photometric monitoring showed that 3I Atlas's rotation period was unstable. The object would spin once every 10 hours, then slow to 13 or 14. These oscillations could arise if gas jets were firing unevenly from its surface, changing its angular momentum. In extreme cases, such torques can tear small comets apart. For now, 3I Atlas remained intact, but models suggested it was approaching a critical point where structural failure was possible. By mid-2025, the comet passed just beyond Mars's orbit. Hubble recorded it glowing a vivid emerald against the black of space, the green hue caused by excited carbon molecules fluorescing in sunlight. Yet even that familiar chemistry carried a twist. The emission lines were stronger and narrower than expected, as if the gas were confined in dense, localized plumes rather than a uniform halo. Every piece of data painted the picture of a body unlike any seen before, small, metallic, reactive, and behaving as if the laws of solar physics applied to it differently. Despite the public fascination, much of this research remained in pre-publication circulation shared among teams still checking calibration files and modeling assumptions. Scientists have learned from experience that extraordinary results demand careful verification. The case of Oumuamua, which sparked speculation about artificial origins, still hangs over every interstellar discovery. This time, astronomers are determined to explain 3I Atlas within the boundaries of natural physics. One promising line of reasoning involves the comet's birthplace. When researchers traced its inbound trajectory backward through the galaxy, they found that it likely originated in a region near the constellation Lynx, a quiet area containing several young stellar associations. If 3I Atlas formed around one of those stars a billion years ago, repeated gravitational encounters could have ejected it into interstellar space. During those encounters, the object might have passed close enough to its parent star to melt and re-solidify metals like nickel, producing the odd composition now observed. Over millions of years, cosmic rays and micrometeoroid impacts could have roughened its surface, giving it the irregular texture that makes its reflected light so unpredictable. Another clue comes from comparisons with comets within our own system. In 2021, the European Space Agency's Rosetta mission found traces of nickel in dust from comet 67P churyumov gerasimenko though at far lower abundance. That discovery proved that nickel can exist in cometary material. The difference is quantity. If 3I Atlas is an extreme version of that chemistry, it might represent a class of comet formed under hotter conditions, perhaps in the inner regions of another solar system, later tossed outward. What about the forward glow that seemed to violate basic geometry? Detailed plasma simulations by a group at the University of Michigan produced an intriguing result. When a highly conductive object moves rapidly through a magnetized stellar wind, electric currents can form around it, producing a bow wave of ionized gas ahead of the nucleus. The model reproduced the observed brightness asymmetry almost perfectly. In short, the comet might not be breaking the rules of physics after all. It's revealing a new regime of them, one that we rarely get to witness. Even so, some anomalies remain unsolved. For example, certain spectrographs recorded weak ultraviolet emissions inconsistent with known molecular transitions. These could be statistical noise or an unknown compound excited by sunlight. Until better data arrive, those features sit in the gray zone between artifact and discovery. By the time 3I Atlas crossed the orbit of Jupiter, its activity began to fade. The gas jets subsided, the glow diminished, and the tail or anti-tail dispersed into the background of space. But it left behind a rich archive of observations, hundreds of terabytes of imagery, spectra, and radio measurements. 
The Juno spacecraft, orbiting Jupiter at the time, captured indirect readings of the solar winds response as the comet passed nearby. Those datasets are still under analysis, but early hints suggest fluctuations in magnetic density consistent with a large plasma bubble sweeping past. When scientists compare 3i Atlas with its predecessors, a pattern begins to emerge. Oumuamua was inert and puzzlingly reflective. Borisov behaved like a standard comet. 3i Atlas combines traits of both. It may represent the midpoint between rocky asteroids and volatile comets, a hybrid class of interstellar debris. If that's the case, then interstellar space could be filled with similar fragments, each carrying traces of the stars that forged them. Detecting and studying these travelers gives us a direct sampling of material from distant planetary systems without ever leaving our own. The broader implication is profound. For decades, astronomers have theorized that star systems exchange material through gravitational ejection, that dust, rocks, and frozen comets wander the galaxy, occasionally crossing paths with planets like ours. Each interstellar object that enters our solar system confirms that the process is real. It also means that some of the atoms on Earth may once have belonged to other stars, and that pieces of our own system are drifting outward to join the galactic current even now. As 3i Atlas fades beyond the reach of telescopes, attention is turning toward the future. The upcoming Vera C. Rubin Observatory, with its wide-field mirror and nightly all-sky surveys, is expected to find many more interstellar visitors each year. With rapid response programs in place, scientists hope to intercept one with spacecraft, a dream mission that could analyze alien material up close before it escapes again into the void. If we ever succeed, it will be because discoveries like 3i Atlas taught us where to look and how to prepare. Still, there's something quietly haunting about these encounters. An object born around another star, forged in heat, scarred by radiation, spends eons wandering through the dark, only to flash briefly through our skies and disappear forever. It reminds us that the universe is not static. It's a place of constant motion, exchange, and surprise. Every interstellar visitor carries a fragment of cosmic history older than humanity itself. In the end, the mystery of 3i Atlas may not lie in what it is, but in what it reveals about us. Our urge to explain the unexplainable, to find order in a universe that resists simplicity. Its forward-facing glow, its strange chemistry, its unpredictable spin, each anomaly pushes our theories a little further, forces us to question assumptions that once felt solid, that is how science moves forward, not through certainty, but through curiosity sustained over time. So the next time an observatory somewhere in the world spots a faint dot moving too fast, too straight, and too free to belong to the sun, the teams will be ready. They'll remember 3i Atlas, the traveler that challenged their instruments, confused their models, and expanded their imagination. And they'll know that even in the vastness of space, the rarest discoveries are those that remind us how much there is still to learn.